What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, you guys. In today's video, I'm going to simply be putting together a sales funnel for one of my clients. Shout out to Tamara with EXP Realty, crushing the state of Virginia. Shit, crushing the entire freaking country, um, building her team and really doing the damn thing. She reached out to me a, a few hours ago and said, David, I got a listing coming up. Um, can you help me put together a quick funnel? So I said, man, shoot me the info, shoot me the images, shoot me the link. And I'll show you how simple this is. So cheers, you guys. I'm making this video on a Saturday. So it's a beautiful day out here in San Diego. I hope you guys are freaking blessed wherever the heck you are. Um, if you're new to the channel, my name is David. I'm out here in San Diego building a social media agency um, and a digital publishing company, really taking my knowledge, putting it into digital form um, and, and monetizing that. So I'm super fired up about digital. I'm super fired up about affiliate marketing, and I'm for sure super blessed for you to be here with me on YouTube. So let me show you how this is done, you guys. And this applies to any business, right? Most small business owners are trying to build something on social media when they're, they're, they're when, when their ideal client, when their ideal customer is down the street. So that's why on this channel, what I do is I put out a lot of, a lot of tutorials, a lot of trainings on Facebook advertising and landing page um, software. So in this case, I'm going to be using a software by the name of Kartra. I've been on Kartra for the past few years. So right in the description, there's a 14 day trial if you guys want to jump on with me. Um, but anyone that does, I, I, I really try to extend my time and really and really show my gratitude, first of all, and really try to give you all the help I possibly can. So in, in this case, Tamara, she's crushing it with me with Kartra. So I said, man, let me log in. Let me go into your account and let me put together a funnel real quick to help you get this property sold. So shout out to Tamara. Um, this is a property that's listed in the state of Virginia. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an existing funnel that, that we already have, and I'm going to clone it. That's how simple this stuff is. I already have a funnel. I'm going to simply duplicate it to really save myself a lot of time. So let me show you again, whether you're a small business owner or, or an actual real estate agent like Tamara. Again, on this channel, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about Facebook advertising and Instagram advertising. And the reason for it is because of the targeting, you guys. Yes, iOS. Yes, this whole Apple freaking um, huge mess has, 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 has put a little dent into Facebook, but it still is one of the best platforms for local targeting. So in this case, what we're going to be doing is running a Facebook ad, not in today's video, but I'm going to put together the funnel first. And then what we can do is turn around and run a Facebook ad and target her local area. So if you guys are small business owners, if your ideal customer is down the street, Facebook, Instagram, even LinkedIn advertising, target your local market and crush it. But when I'm clicking on your ad, make sure you're taking me to a simple sales funnel and something like the one that I'm going to put together right now for you guys. All right. So let me, um, let me pull up this Kartra platform, you guys, and, and let me show you how simple this platform is. What I want to show you real quick, you guys, is what is what I see by the thousands, right? So if, again, if you've been following me on my channel for, for a while here on YouTube, I've been putting out videos on, on Facebook advertising, landing pages, email automation, and, and really I've been, I've been servicing and serving the real estate community. So on my personal Facebook page, I have, a, I have many, many videos on, on this on my YouTube channel here um, on how I've, I was able to get hundreds and hundreds of clients, social media marketing clients, all through the direct message. And in fact, shout out to Tamara. That's how I got her. You know, I, I've gotten hundreds all through the direct message. And, and, and the way I did it is I came over here to my personal Facebook page and I requested nothing but real estate agents. So over here, I know a lot of a lot of people that, that end up catching me on Facebook or or even on Inst I mean, excuse me, not Facebook, but on, on YouTube here, or even on Instagram or even on LinkedIn. A lot of times you'll try to request me on my personal page. If you're not an agent, I, I no disrespect, but I don't I don't accept you. I don't request anyone outside of this specific niche. So that's one tip for you guys. If you're servicing a certain type of person, go and fill up 5,000 of them on your personal Facebook page. That's what I was able to do. So, and that started in 2016. So if you can imagine having thousands and thousands of friends who are all your ideal client, when you, when, when you put yourself in position like that, you start to see how everyone's marketing. You start to see it by the thousands, right? So for the past few years, I've been seeing how thousands and thousands of agents are building their business on social media, how they're marketing their open houses, how they're marketing their listings, how they're just marketing their overall business. And I'm going to give you a quick example before we go into the landing page software and we build this damn thing. I'm going to show you 
what I see by the thousands. And if you're a real estate agent coming across me, if you're a local business, let me know if you're if you're guilty of this. Comment below. Say I'm guilty, David. I'm guilty. Comment below. Let me know I'm guilty. Because this is what people do. They 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 splat spaghetti against the wall to see what sticks. That's not social media marketing, right? So again, this really applies to the local business owner. If you're a local business owner, you have to be targeting your local area. So this is one group that I have here. And, and, and shout out to every real estate agent in this group. Everyone posts their listings. Everyone posts their open houses. That's what it's for, right? I started this group a few years back and, and just put a bunch of agents in here. In here Now there's a little over a little for a little over 4,000 agents and everyone just comes in here and, and post their listings, right? Open houses. So come and stop by. Here's an open house. Shout out to the Bartos group. Um, Heidi over here, she, she has an open house coming up, right? So shout out to Heidi. But see, whether it's in a Facebook group or whether I see it on my personal Facebook page by having thousands of people who are all agents, it's the same damn thing. This is what I see. Okay, 99.99, actually, well, shit, let me take that back, 100%. Unless you're one of my clients, this is what I see 100% of the time. Okay, so as I, in fact, let me just, let me, let, 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 let's shoot back up to here because it's, it's the same damn thing for everything. So shout out to Heidi, but I'm gonna put you on blast, okay? So here's what, what, what what's going on. She posted this in her on her business page. She could have and, and and she for sure because it's what everybody does. They post it on their personal page, and then they come over here and post it in groups, right? So if you're a local business owner and you have thousands of people that are following you on your personal Facebook page, well, shit, this applies for any platform: LinkedIn, Instagram, TikTok. For those of the for those of you that are shaking your ass over there, it's all the same thing, man. As you really build your brand. Thousands of people are going to start following you on these personal pages and even on your business page. Thousands of people are going to be following you and you're going to, and they're going to be all over the place. So if you're a local business owner, it's like, dude, you're, you're, you're posting your business content to a bunch of people that are not even in the market. That's why I'm so freaking anti-posting. Run an ad, target your local area. And, and, and when people click, take up to a landing page, right? So that's what I'm gonna put together this landing page. But what I wanted to do real quick is, is again, no disrespect, shout out to Heidi, but I'm gonna put all you guys on blast because here's what, what what's going on. Look, she's posting this, right? So this is a, this is an open house. So there's the, there's, there's all the specs of the property, right? So come in person, I scheduled an open house for Saturday. I'm seeing this, I'm in San Diego, she's in Florida. 99% of the people that are seeing this don't even live in that area. Okay, but here's the thing. When I click on this link, look where she's taking me. So, so that was a, a post on that specific open house, right? March 12th, 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. in Northport. This is a very specific property, a very specific post. But when I click, I'm now coming over to her full-blown website, coldwallbanker.com. And now I'm over here, again, shout out to Heidi, but it's like, damn, dude, this is not marketing, right? So as I come over here, now I see all these other properties. Now I see Go Mobile. Now I see freaking my list. Now I see freaking LinkedIn. Now I see freaking Beaches, Beaches Pool. It's like all this crap. And here's, here's the other thing. When I click and I come over to the page, 1,000% of the time, if there is a pixel on the page, this pixel is not even hers. Now, this in this case, it could be because there's her dot com. So shot to Heidi, shot to Heidi. This this for sure, one of them is her pixels. The other one is Coldwell's. That's why there's two. So shot to Heidi, but Coldwell is also capturing all that data. Um, and, and that's not really that's not really what you want. But at least you're at least you're in fact, look. This is showing that, that, that the pixel is coming from her.com, but that's not even her.com at the top. This is coldwellbanker.com. So her data is all over the place. It ain't even matching up at all. She's driving the click to coldwellbanker.com, but this pixel over here is Heidi Loves, Real, Heidi Loves Florida Real Estate.com. It's like, dude, all over the place. But here's my point. Clicking and coming over to a page like this is not going to capture the lead. Right now, shout out to shout out to um, the Bartos group. Let's see if, if there's look. So I click. Let's see where she's taking me. Well, shit, I come straight to Google. I, I'm coming straight to freaking this over here. Which it's like, dude, what the hell is this? Right. So it's like, dude, that ain't going to capture the lead. Let's click on one more 
just so I can give you this example, you guys, on why you got to be building landing pages. All of this information, all this information, double granite, top sink, second bedroom. It's like shit. She gave me all Jessica. Shout to Jessica. She gave me all the information back on the market, but there's no link. There's no link to click on. So I click and all I see is images, no link to click on. There's no lead capture, no lead capture. And then, and then, and then you wonder why, why there was no leads, new listing, right? Here's a new listing. So today I'm going to be putting together a listing page, new listing. Let's see where the link is. Where, where's the link? All the contact information. This is a $729,000 property. It's like shit. And this is how you're marketing it. It's like, what the hell? It's like, dude, scroll down, scroll down. No link, no link. So you think I'm going to just call you? Like, am I, am I really going to just pick up the phone and freaking call you? Am I really going to hit your Gmail? Look at that. Jessica MR1219. No branding whatsoever. Again, shout out to all these agents, but it's like, dude, this is not how you want to do it, man. No, no link. And okay, look at, here's one that's a link. Three bedroom pull via for sale. I click on the link. Where are they taking me? Where are they taking me? They're taking me to this full-blown website, dude. And if you're running an ad, you would be blowing your freaking money. This is not the page you're taking, take you want to be taking people to. No pixel on the page, right? No pixel, no custom audience, no tracking, burning money. It's like shit, dude. Just give me the money. I'll find something to spend it on. In fact, I'll spend it on some freaking wine. This is not where you want to be taking it, you guys. This is not marketing. Shout out to every agent. God bless you guys. But it's like, man, hit me up. Reach out to me if you're an agent. Comment below. Um, let me help you. Let me help you. So here's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be un. Okay, so Tamara, again, shout out to Tamara, but unlike these other agents, we're not going to be marketing that way, right? This is her listing. Now, if it wasn't for me, right, for, for me helping her and, and really giving her a different perspective, right, she'd probably be doing the same damn thing, is taking this same link and posting it on social media, right? Just simply taking this link and pff, there it goes, right? Facebook, LinkedIn, freaking Instagram, all that crap, right? Click on the link. It's like, boom, you're coming here. But no, I'm going to show you a better way. So this is where we're ultimately trying to bring them to this, to this link with all the information. But here's how we're going to do it. Here's how we're going to do it. So inside of Kartra, the reason why I use Kartra is really for the three main tools, right? And these tools are always sold separately. Um, and when it comes to building an online, an online business, your, your online brand, th these three basic tools is, 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 are, are must. Like they're required. There, there's, no, there's no way around it. You need your landing pages, which is what I'm going to show you right here. You need your email automation. You need your online calendar. Those three ba basic tools is why I've been on Kartra since 2018. It's why I'm, 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 I'm damn near passionate about the, about the platform. And anyone that clicks on the link in the, in the, in the, in the description and activates a 14 day trial, you get all my time for free. I will help you build all this stuff out and really help you crush it. And so right now I'm in Tamara's account and I'm going to simply take a few pages that we've already built and I'm going to just simply clone it to really save us a bunch of time. So let me show you how I do this. Let's go off of, um, we're going to go off of this listing one right here. So we're going to clone the, um, the 777 Plaza Boulevard, we're going to clone the, the landing page. We're going to clone the one up here, the thank you page. Okay. We're going to clone these two pages. And that's really what it comes down to. If you're a restaurant, run ads to your local area, area, giving away a coupon. If you're a dentist, run ads to your local area, giving away a coupon. Click here to download your free coupon on your first teeth, teeth cleaning. It's like, dude, two pages. They come to the landing page, they opt in, they download your coupon, they go to a thank you page. Real estate, same thing. Listing, landing page, they opt in, thank you page, right? It could be an open house. It could be a seller guide that we're marketing. Same thing. Click, landing page, enter your name and email, thank you page. It's two basic pages, pages you guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clone these two. Um, let me get the address just so we can really really get get detailed with this so 6109 pinecrest so here's what i'm going to do these pages are already built right these two pages so all i'm going to do is i'm going to click on these three dots and i'm going to clone i'm going to clone it and i'm going to rename it um let's close out these other ones shout out to all the agents that i just got done clowning much respect much love reach out to me Okay, so let's get out of Facebook. Let's go straight over here. Okay, so now all I'm going to do is I'm going to simply name it 6109 Pinecrest Lane, um, and we're going to call this one opt-in page. 
okay, opt-in page. Now that's only internally, no one sees that. Um, so we don't gotta worry about that. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it out of this, we don't need it in that, and all I'm gonna do is simply clone. That's it, you guys. So now everything about that funnel is coming over. Now all I gotta do is just change out, do some basic editing, change out the image, change out um, the, the, the bullet points on the page. I'm gonna show you how stupid simple this is, you guys. So with that funnel already done, you guys, again, depend on your business, but in this case, real estate, all I gotta do is clone it for the new, the new campaign, right? Open house, new open house, clone the old one, make a new one. Old listing page, clone it, make a new one. And that's what we're doing here, you guys. So the first thing I do when I come in here is I'll hit settings because as I cloned it, everything about that funnel came over. All I did is I duplicated it. So all I'm going to do now is just simply do some basic editing. The first thing I want to do is, is, is put in the page title because that page title is what you see here up in the tab. Right. So as I have this other link email from March 12th, that's the title in the tab that shows publicly. So I always want to make sure that 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 that, you know, that that listing in this case with a real estate agent, I want to make sure that that says the actual address of the listing. Then when you share it on social media, because God knows you're still going to share this on your damn personal page, you're still going to probably post the damn link on all the in, in all these groups, right, for everyone and their mama to see it. So when you do share it on LinkedIn, when you share it on Twitter, when you share it on Facebook, personal page, Facebook, a, a business page, there's details that show up in that in that post, right? So and there's an image. So what I do is I'll hit this image, and then I'll go down to one of the actual images, and then I'll just simply put it there. So when you do share it on social media, this is the image that's going to show, right? You could put any image there, but um, I'll, I'll just put that one for now. So there's that one. And then all I'm going to do is select it, hit the confirm button, and that's that. And then what I can also do is description. I'll just put mate, I'll just put there's the address there. And that's that's enough for now. And then I'll click apply, the green one. Okay. So that's that. So I just want to make sure that I the first thing I come in, settings, page title, SEO parameters, page title, change out that 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 address. Okay. Bam, got that. Then all we got do, all we got, all we got to do here. Get instant access to the price and photos of this property. I'm going to change out these bullet points, right? Put a little bit of put a little bit of, of, of info on the property, and then change out this image right here. Shout out to um, my other clients, right? This is not Tamara and her husband, but these are these are my other clients, Sarah and her husband. I put Melina and David. That's actually my name. Now, not my. That's that's actually I'm going to keep it real with you guys. That's actually my alias last name, Garcia. So whenever freaking, you know, telemarketers are hitting me up, this is David, this is David Cantero, we got you on freaking late, late payment. Nope, ain't David Cantero, this is David Garcia. You got wrong number, right? So that's my alias name right there, Garcia. But Melina, that's my wife's name. But I just put that there because it's just a, this is just a, a dummy page. But reviews and then boom, click here for all the details. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to simply come in and I'm going to, and I'm going to change out. I'm going to change out the image. Let's start with the image in the background. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to the right-hand side, click this red gear, click edit, and then I'm going to change out the background image. Okay. And I'm going to put, let's put, I guess I'll put that same one. Let's see what that same one looks like. I have a few, a couple others. Let's see what that looks like. I'll put the image there. I'll hit the green apply and then bam, there goes that background image. Looks good. Not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Right. So I'll, I'll, yeah, not bad at all. So it's like shit. Whenever and and what I'll do is I'll save progress, right? So whenever I'm working on the page, I'll just I'll just save the progress, um, just so I don't lose it. Okay. So and then here I could just put rather than view all seventeen photos now, what I can do is I can um, I'll put click here for all the details. Click here for all the details. Okay, and that is the opt-in, you guys. That is the opt-in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hover over the button, hit edit, and then I'm going to go to link. And this is the actual pop-up form. So, so as I link it, I can choose these different options as that person clicks on the button. In this case, I'm going off of an opt-in form. So here on the opt-in form, I want to change out this background image. So what I do is I just simply hit this red gear right over here and I'm going to change out, hit edit, 
and I'm going to change out that image and I'm going to go with the same one. Okay. Now I have a few other ones, but let's go with, let, let, let's go with that one for now. Okay. So there's, there's that image in the background. Okay. So there's that. Um, and then let me put the address. So again, it's 6109 Pinecrest. So I'm going to simply just change out this, change out this text right here. Okay, so there's the address. There's the address, and I'm gonna get rid of this this um, this GDPR. I gotta I gotta click a few buttons. I'll show you where, but um, but that looks pretty fresh for now. So let me and then let me let me. Actually, we don't have an opt-in form. We don't have an. Actually, let me see if we have. Yeah, we actually have an opt-in form, but the button. Send me the details. Um, let's go with a different color, and we're gonna go with that same blue. Actually, we're gonna go with that same blue which I don't have it. I'll come back to that because I, I want to, in fact, let's, um, I got, I want to copy the same exact color from the, from the, from the actual landing page. So here's what I'm going to do. Let me hit done up here in the right. And so this same color of this blue right here and all this stuff can be changed, right? So shout out to Tamara, but if you don't like this color, you can for sure come over here. And then um, I'm in the style. So I'm gonna scroll down and here's the color right here. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy that exact color. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna come over here, hover over it, hit the pencil again. I'm gonna go back to the link. There's the pop-up form, X that out. There's the pop-up form, come over here, hit edit. And then I'm going to, I'm going to change out the style. So here is the actual, actually, let me go back. Okay. So here it's, it's the button that I want to, that I want to change the color. So there's the color of the button. And then this right here, I can just make this part. Let me see, match, make it match the, um, the other. And so I don't know why that's not changing blue right now, but once we save it, it should. Okay, so now let me save it real quick. So just as I'm working through the funnel, right, I just want to save progress every now and then. So there's save progress again. Um, now let's let's do this real quick. Let's get some details of the property. So let's see, where are the details? Where are all the details? So right here, um, Okay, so here we go. So um, three beds. Let's put some of this. Let's put some of these details in there real quick. So put a few bullet points. This home is settled in an established community with lots of rich and vibrant history, close to freeways, shopping, and schools. Three bedroom, two bath, central air, colonial style. Tons of space for a growing family. Tons of space. Let's. Um, tons of space for a growing, let's just drop those letters, family in the Frederick Public School District, um, district built in 1997. Click here for all the details. Okay, cool. So we got that. And then let me see if I can, I don't have a, um, um, I don't have a, a freaking, the damn, you know, background image. All I have is this one. Let me see what this one looks like. You know, there's no background behind behind their photo there it just looks white let me um let me see what this looks like okay so it's a little blurry it doesn't look it's not the best at all and i don't have any shout to t but it's like this is kind of last minute shit i'm gonna just um put this up real quick and then um and then we can change it out we could for sure change it out let me um let me get her info over here so um let's see where is her actual mls or not mls number but her her actual license number let me um let me pull it real quick from the other page so i don't have her actual license number but it's all good i'm gonna put that i'm gonna put that for now 
Um, and again, this stuff could be, um, for sure could be edited. So let me, partner, I'm gonna just kind of just space that out like that. Okay, so we'll leave that. We'll leave that for now. We'll leave that for now. Okay, cool. So there's that. That's not the best image because it's a little blurry, um, but it, it's gonna it's gonna do for now. It's gonna do for now. So let's switch out this this button down here. Let's go to the link. There's the pop up. There's that background image that we need to change out. So we'll go to image and we'll just simply put that same image. There's that one, that same image, and then apply. And there goes that image in the background. Okay, and then we gotta, the reason why that button's not lighting up, um, send me the details now is because the form is not, is, not fully, is not fully done. So we're gonna, we're gonna take care of that form right now. But there's that, um, there's that background image, and then 6109, what was it, Pinecrest? Pine Crest Lane, six one zero nine. Yeah, six one. Is that what it? Six one zero nine Pine Crest Lane. Okay, so, and let's put the let's put the city Frederick. 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 Okay, so we'll put we'll put that. Okay, so hit done, and then let me let me add it up here as well. And again, you could play around with the colors. Um, let's go back up, Pine Crest and Frederick. Okay, Frederick. Okay, cool. So we got that. We got that. Hit done. Okay, so let's um, let's say those colors are 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 enough. Um, and what I want to do is I want to change out the privacy policy. Let me show you how I do that real quick. I'm going to do down here, you guys, a privacy policy. This is huge when you're running ads. You know, you definitely, for compliant purposes, Facebook wants you to for sure have a privacy policy, a terms of use. So what I do in the real estate space, um, most agents have their own website, right? So shout out to Tamara. This is her EXP website from her company. If you're with Coldwell or, or Realty One, you guys have this, these replicated websites. So all I do is I simply just scroll down and grab, grab the privacy policy terms of use the accessibility fair housing, I grab all of it from your actual website, right? So all I'm going to do, there, there, there they all, there they are all down here. So I'm going to take out the cookie policy. All we need is privacy policy, accessibility terms of use, fair housing, perfect, and we got all of them. So let's start with the privacy policy. I'm going to simply just click on it, come over here. This is Tamara's, right? That's what you see here at the top, and I'm going to simply just copy. Bring it over here, hover over privacy policy. Now, I don't want the whole hover, right? I just want each individual one. So there's the pencil. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to hit link right here at the top, link to another page. I can link it to anything, right? On the button, I link to a pop-up form, right? But I can link it to every anything. In this case, I'm going to link it to another page. So I'm going to scroll down. I can link it to a Karcher page or an external, an external page. I'm going to go external. So I'm going to take away that link that's there. I'm going to paste in her link, open in new tab, apply. Then I'm going to do the same thing for the accessibility. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to come back over here. Let's see if it's down here. Accessibility. There is the accessibility. So I'm going to click on that one. I'm going to double click, copy, bring it over here, link it over here, link to another page, scroll down, take away that one, put that one there. And that's good right there. Then I'll just do the same thing for the terms of use. So scroll down, terms of use. There is the terms of use. And then I'll paste it in over here on the link as well. So there is that one, apply. And then the last one, I'll do fair housing. So over here, down, go back to the bottom. There is the fair housing statement. Click on that. And I'll link it over here just like that. And here's what I do also to make it super, super simple. So look, I just optimized it, right? I even changed out her, her copyrights down here. So that's your basic footer, right? Privacy policy, accessibility, that's your basic footer. 
What I can do over here on the right hand side is I'm going to hit this red gear and I'm going to heart it. So I'm going to save it. So now I can use that footer. I can use any part of the page I, as long as I save it, right, as a, as, a, as a template. But in this case, I like to save the footer because on the next page, that saves me a freaking ton of time, right? So in the future, as I go to the next page, the thank you page, which will be next, I'll come over here, sections, favorite blocks, and boom, there's my favorite block. So all I got to do is click it drag it over and drop it. And there goes the same exact optimized um, footer as I have over here. So that's that. Um, and I'm going to leave all these, um, all these reviews. I don't think Kelly does a great job. Actually, you know what? I, I, I do need to, I do need to take these out because they actually have a different person's name and that's fine. I'll take away these. So I can just X out of that X out of that hover over it X out of that. And then um, you'll see here, there's, there's, these, there's these open spaces now. So what I can do is I can go to columns right here at the top and I hover over and it'll show me where these open spaces are at. So all I gotta do is I wanna X them out. I wanna clear that open space and boom, now it's, now it's cleared. So what I can do with this one, go back to components at the top, hit the pencil and I can drop this button down a little lower. That's the margin right here. So I can click this margin and just bring it a little lower. So hit apply. And that's that right there. So there's there's your basic page, you guys. Again, so let me show you. So look, first thing I did came in here to settings, changed out the page SEO parameters, changed out that page title. Now her pixel, I think is already on this. Actually, her pixel's not there, but that's fine. We'll grab we'll grab the pixel. I, I know where it's at, but um, we'll add the pixel right there. So that's the first thing I normally do. Click the click the settings, change out the page title change out the image, and then also add the pixel. Okay, that's super, super important, adding the pixel. Um, so that's your basic page, right? That's your basic page. Now I can come over here to the top right. I've already saved it a few times, right? So I already saved it, but let me just, um, let me just save it again. So actions, save progress, X that out, publish live, and then here's what I want to do is I want to make sure that our domain is, is, is integrated inside of Kartra, which it is. So all I got to do is hit this pencil, hit this drop down, and there is her, her integrated domain, her custom domain. And then all I do is just name the 6109 Pine, Pine Crest Lane. And that becomes the link that I can promote. Okay, so... Now we're not done with the funnel just yet, but that's the basic landing page. So as people click, they come straight to a basic page like this and they can opt in. There it is there, you guys. So again, imagine back to back to our, 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 our you know, freaking, I don't even know what to call them. Shout out to Heidi, shout, shout out, shout out to you guys, right? But back to these spaghetti on the wall type of posts, right? Rather than just posting this random ass link, right? Now they see the post, they see the, the images, they click, and then boom, they come straight to one page. You guys get instant access to the price and photos of this property. Homes in this market move extremely fast. Schedule your private showing before the bidding war begins. Few bullet points, they click on that button. Now we got to, we got to update this form. It's not, it's not complete just yet, but we'll update that form, but that's it. That's the opt-in. That's the opt-in, right? So there's her picture. This is a live page, right? So they can click, enter their name and email and opt-in. So now let's, we'll, we'll complete the form here. Once I set up the thank you page, I'll show you how I do the thank you page. So let's go back. So we don't need the, we don't need that anymore. Let's go back to, let's go back to over here. So now there is the new page, right? There's the new page. It was a clone from the previous, from the previous opt-in page. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the thank you page. So here is the thank you page right over here, right? That's the thank you page. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to simply clone this one. So I'll clone this one and I'm going to name it just like I named the, the other one, 6109, um, six, 6109 pine crest but it's not the opt-in page it is the thank you page thank you page right so let's let's clone that we're going to take it out of the site right there um and then we'll simply 
clone. Bam. Thank you for your interest in. So we'll just simply come over here and then we'll take out this address, right? It's 6109 Pine Crest, Pine Crest Lane. But thank you for your interest in, in 6109 Pine Crest Lane. Now that I don't like that on, on two lines. So what I'll do is I'll just come over here and I'll see if I can, if I could just bring it down a notch. So there, there that looks a little better. Okay, so here's my whole strategy. Now let's let's change out this image in the background. So this background image, let's change that one out. I'll hit this red gear to the right hand side, come over here to the pencil, hit edit. And I could go with that same image. Let me see if I can go with a different one. Let's see if we can. Yeah, let's upload a different one. Let's upload, um, let's upload, let's upload, the, let's upload, yeah, I guess the kitchen. Let's see what the kitchen looks like. So as they land on this page, here's my whole strategy and what I teach as that person opts in. So there goes that background image, right, of the kitchen. You can really see it, but it's, it's the background. So here's my whole, my whole, my whole strategy and, and what I what I coach agents to do. And, and again, apply this to any business you guys are in. It's the same damn thing. It's the same thing. You could be any business. It's the same thing. Two pages. The moment that person opts in and they land on this thank you page, right? This video is a simple video on your cell phone, right? Pulling out your phone, simple, simple video. And here's the four bullet points that I always teach. Number one, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank. In fact, let me role play this damn thing because this is really that simple. Let me role play this shit real quick. As that person lands, as that person lands, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for your interest in six one oh nine Pine Crest Lane. My name is David. I'm with EXP Realty, and I am the listing agent of this beautiful property. I just emailed you all the details, so make sure you check your email. Right away, I sent you images, I sent you photos, I sent you all the specs of the property. This property is not going to last. As you guys know, this market is hot right now. So if you guys are in the area, if you guys are serious, if you guys want to really schedule your time, your, your schedule now, your, your private showing now, click the button below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. See you guys there. So all I'm doing here, you guys, in this simple 45 second video on my phone is I'm thanking them. I'm introducing myself. I'm telling them to check their email because I just emailed them all the details of this, of, of this property. And then I created some kind of urgency to get them to click the button below to schedule their private showing. That's it, you guys. It's that simple. Now over here, we got to link all these social media platforms. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to simply just show you how I can drag my footer, right? So what I would do next is I would optimize all of these platforms down here, and then I would save this footer. This is a footer that you want to put on your thank you page. So maybe I, I might not change it just yet, but T, once you watch this video, all you're going to do is come in here and, and just delete whichever ones you don't have, but all you're going to do is hover over each one, right? So I can hover over each one. I'm going to hover over each one. I'm going to hit the pencil. I'm going to come up here to link, link to another page. I'm going to scroll down and simply just put in my link right there. In fact, let me do this real quick on, on hers because I know her, her business page. Um, so there's her business page. In fact, let me just, let me just do this real quick. So I'm going to copy that link and then I'm going to link it right here and always open in a new page. Let me see if I have her IG. Um, um, well, shit, let me just hook you up real quick, T. Okay, so I click on that. Okay, so so this is her LinkedIn, but it's it, it's fully not optimized, but it's okay. Let me just, um, and this long ass ugly link, you guys, this is just like, like a, a piece of code. This is a piece of cookie. This is just what Facebook tracks, but that's not your link. It's just this right here. This is just telling freaking the internet world where that click came from, right? This click came from Facebook, but you don't need that. That's not your link. This is her LinkedIn link right here. So I can copy that. And then, and then I can simply, let me apply that. So there's that. And then I can come over here, do the LinkedIn one. So maybe she doesn't have Twitter. I don't, let me, I'll, I'll, I'll check, but I can just simply take that out, paste that in, apply. Okay. Let me see what else she got. She got, yeah, she got Pinterest. 
Okay, so let's take out this. Okay, so it's really, it's none of this shit to the right, right? None of that, none of that to the right. It's just right here. This is her link right here. So I'm going to copy that, bring that back over. Um, so I already applied that. Let's do the Pinterest right quick and then link that. There's the Pinterest. Got that. And then where's her IG? She got IG. Okay, yeah, she got it all. Okay, cool. Good, good, good job, D or D. Good job, T. Let's um, copy that. That's the Twitter, right? So copy that. Bring that over back over here. Um, let's do the Twitter right, real quick. There's there's the button. We'll click on this link. Link to another page. Paste that in. Bam. Okay, so we've got Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. And then what about Instagram? Did I already do Instagram? Let's do Instagram. So Instagram. So I'm going to click up here. And it's just this part right here, you guys. So I'm going to copy all of that. Bring it back over here, hover over the IG, hit the pencil, and then link to another page. So there's that. And then let's see if she's doing her damn thing on YouTube. Bam. One subscriber. T, I'll be your second one. Bam. So I'm going to take this link up here. This is the link, right? Actually, oh, shit. Let me do this again. Okay. Okay. And you can't, you can't customize this link until you hit 100 subscribers. So once you hit 100 subscribers, so shout out to all of you guys that are on YouTube right now, man. If you're new to my channel, subscribe, smash the bell for notifications, draw me a comment below. If you're into Facebook advertising, if you're a real estate agent, if you're a small business owner, all I'm dropping over here is how to freaking target your local area and capture the damn lead. That's what I do in this channel. So please subscribe, support your boy. Um, I don't do this shit for anything. I, I, don't do, I do I do this. How do you say that? I don't do this shit for nothing, right? Um, so hopefully I'm bringing value to you guys. Hopefully, hopefully you guys are picking up what the hell I'm dropping over here. So I'm going to copy that link. Let's copy that. Let's bring it back over here. And we're going to simply customize the Instagram. I mean, the freaking YouTube one. So there's that. There's that. Link to another page. Take away mine. Apply. Bam. She got all of them. So here's what I'm gonna do down here. I'm gonna just simply take away this my 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 name and then just put hers S three decree. Okay, so we got that. And then and then what I'm gonna do since I've been doing a little bit of work on it, right? I will always want to save my shit, right? Save progress, right? So as you're a few minutes into the page, right, doing whatever you're doing, save progress. Now here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to save this bottom part. Now, I don't need the privacy policy in terms of use on this one. Um, this is the thank you page. It's super important for the landing page. Okay, so right here, I'm going to simply hit the gear and I'm going to heart it. Bam, just like that, you guys heart the damn thing. So let me close out these other platforms over here since I already have them all saved. Um, got all that. And then over here, I'll show you where that new template is at, that block. So the block is now under sections, favorite blocks, bam. We got this one, we got this one, and we got that bottom one. So I can always use this. I can always, I can change up anything, right? I can click, drag it over, and then change it up, and then save it again, right? But at least, but but that's fine for now. This first one is for the opt-in page. This, this one at the top is for the thank you page, okay? So in this case, what I'm going to do here, she doesn't have her calendar um, linked up just yet, but that's what the button would be linked to. The button would be linked to a Kartra calendar. So the calendar is not not linked, not not optimized just yet. We gotta we gotta set up this calendar. But that's where it would go. So this is how you get your appointments, you guys. Rather than putting spaghetti against the wall, put out an image, put out a post. I click. I come to your landing page. I enter my name and email. I ent I, I then land on a thank you page where I see you in video telling me to schedule a call, right? That's it, you guys. And here's the deal. For those that don't schedule a call, right? This could be for a listing. It could be an open house. It could be down. It could be to download a seller guide, download a buyer guide. Um, it could be download your coupon for your free coffee, free bago, free teeth cleaning, free anything, right? Your free dry cleaning. Click here to download your first coup, your free coupon on, 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 on 75% off your first dry cleaning. It could be anything, you guys. So as that person comes to the second page, 
this is what it's all about is getting them to, to schedule a call. So if, if you're in the, if you're in the client services business, bam, that's how you get that appointment. It's on the second page. But again, for those that don't schedule right here, that's why the email automation is so important. So right away, what just happened? An email would have triggered right away with all the details of that beautiful property. Every other day after that, your email automation needs to be in place, and that's how you nurture the lead. So, for example, for those that do not schedule a call right here, a day later, they're going to get another email. Hey, Dave, this is John. Hey, thank you so much for inquiring on 6109 Pinecrest Lane. Hey, I know you, you, you inquired yesterday, but you haven't scheduled your private showing. Let me give you a little bit more details of this property and let you know why you're going to need to schedule your showing right away. That would be an email that goes out tomorrow to those who did not schedule a call here right? A day later, another email goes out. Hey, Dave, holy crap. You have not scheduled your showing. What the heck is going on, bro? You're going to need to schedule your showing. This property is not going to last. Let me tell you a few more reasons why you need to schedule this private showing now. That could be the third email that goes out, you guys, right? You get my drift, right? So again, apply this to your business. It's the same for everything. In this case, we're, we're marketing a listing. So the listing won't be under, it won't be on the market for too, too long. So you don't need, you know, 50 emails in this automation, in the drip, in the sequence, but you do need a few, right? You do, you do need, you know, four or five, maybe six emails that go out every other, every day, maybe every day, every day to create the urgency for this property, for this appointment, right? And again, here's the deal. For those that don't even schedule, for those that don't even don't even, you know, schedule an appointment from your emails that are going out, those are all leads that inquired on this one property. Guess what? Now as you roll out your next property, as you have your next open house, you can then exclude everyone who landed here, right? Not only do I have their email, I they opted in. I have their email now. But what I would also do is take this link. So let me save this Let's publish live. What I would do next, this is the next ninja stuff. This is, again, why you guys are not freaking doing the damn thing because you ain't doing none of this shit that I'm freaking covering, right? What I would do next is I would take out this link. This is this is 6109. Schedule your call. Schedule your showing now. Damn, I can't even spell all this freaking wine I'm drinking. Schedule your showing now, okay, here's what, what you do, and this is the next level. This is Ninja. What you do next is you take this link. You take both links, really. You create a custom audience for all of the people who land but don't opt in. You also create a custom audience for all those who actually opt in. Because what I would do next is as I run my next ad, I would take this link and exclude them from seeing my next ad right? Because I already have their email. I could just simply email them that post. I don't need to show them an ad. Therefore, it'll allow me to cut cost on advertising and track my data and be able to segment these people accordingly, right? So that's what you guys need to be doing. As you see all these other posts and what agents do typically is they just link anything, right? You're not tracking any of the visit. You're not visitors. You're not tracking any of that data. And that's super, super important, especially if you're running ads. You got to be able to track the people who land on the thank you page. You got to be able to track the people who land on this first page, right? It's not this this right here at the at the end. It's just that that's the link. I need to take that link and set up a custom audience. Same with this, set up a custom audience. And, and now all these people who landed on the thank you page, I can just email them from this point on, you guys, my next listing, my next open house, whatever's going on, I can email them. And then again, I could take that link and exclude them from seeing future ads. Now, what I wanna do real, real quick, you guys, is let's let's get out of here. So that right there is, is, is good enough. I do need to set the calendar. Um, these links are all optimized for, for Tamara's uh, platforms. So all I'm going to do is I already, I already published live. Now I'm going to return to dashboard. But real quick, I also need to change out. Schedule your showing now. That's fine. That's fine for sure. But what I also want to do is I want to put the pixel under tracking code. So I'm going to put the pixel right there because the pixel needs to be on this page. So let me get out of this really, really quick. And the last thing we're going to do is set up the form. So right here to the left, the form, 
And we're going to go off of this form right here. We're going to just simply work off of this one. Um, and let's call this one 6109 Pine Crest Lane. Okay, so I'm going to work off of that form. Um, and then just 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 fully optimize. We just need first and last name, save and next. Um, the confirmation, we're going to go off of the success page. Okay, so so single opt-in, that's fine. Okay, and then the success page. The success page is going to be a Kartra page, no site in particular, and there is the thank you page. So the success page is the thank you page. It's telling the system what page to take them to after they opt in. Okay, so that's that's good. Um, we don't need to send a message here because where I send the, the, the first email that goes out, remember, they land on the thank you page. You then see me in video. Hey, guys, thank you for inquiring. I just sent you an email, blah, blah, blah. That first email is coming out through the sequence, which is my communications to the left. That's the first email that needs to go out in your email automation. That's why your email autoresponder is so important, you guys. Why The whole reason why I use, a oh, few reasons why I use Kartra is because it comes with everything I need, the landing pages, the email autoresponder, and the online calendar. And if you guys are into digital courses and monetizing your knowledge, like I am selling your actual knowledge in, in digital form, that's my memberships over here to the left. So I have a, a full course that 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 I have you know 55 videos in and I sell it through my memberships. That's a whole course. So that's another reason why I use Kartra. But in this case, it's the email autoresponder that's going to shoot out that first email and every email there thereafter. So I don't send it here. So assign tag. So the listing lead. I'm going to rename that list. That's not TTTT, right? I'm going to rename that. Um, and I'll do it on the other, I'll, I'll show you where I do that, but but that's subscribe to the list. I can tag them for sure. Um, I don't subscribe into a sequence here. I do all that in my communications um, and then that's it. So now here's what I'll do real quick. My communications, let's go to list and let's just edit this list right here, the name. And I'm gonna name it 6109 Pinecrest Lane. Thank you for your interest in 6109 Pinecrest lane okay so that's that's that that's the list that's just the name of the list and then i have the sequence right so as they opt in they land on a list and then they're also in this sequence so i'm going to go 6109 pine crest lane that's the sequence right there's two different things list is one thing sequence is the other okay so 619 pine crest this is my drip my email automation, Pinecrest Lane. Okay, so thank you for your interest. And the public description, that just is a brief description um, of what they see if a lead were to unsubscribe, that's all. So as you guys unsubscribe from spam, from junk email and, 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 and all, all that, um, as you go down to, that, to the bottom of that email and you unsubscribe, it should give you some kind of description of what list you were even on. That's what that is. So as I come into the actual email sequence, Okay, let me just show you what this what this looks like, and this is this is the time consuming part, um, because you gotta you gotta you gotta you gotta word out all these emails, right? You gotta write all these emails. But one thing that I do is I'll put I'll put aside like an hour a week, right? Sunday nights are really my 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 nights. Actually, it's on my schedule. Sunday nights from nine p.m. to eleven p.m. What I'm doing is I'm adding to my sequences, right? Certain sequences, not every, not every sequence needs 55 emails, you know, in the sequence. In this case, um, a listing, an open house, just a few, but this is the sequence. So as I come in over here, I hit, I hover over the three dots, I go to edit. And then the communication, I want to change this out. And this is going to be 6109 Pinecrest. This is the first email that goes out, right? So now this email obviously needs to be edited. Um, so T, here's what you gotta do. So my communications, hover over, hover over communications at the top. Um, and then, and then, um, and then edit out this email. This is one thing that, that, that I don't have, I don't have all the details for the email just yet, but, um, hopefully T you're watching this and you can, you can see, you can see what I'm doing. So, we would need to come in here and, and edit this email. So you hover over the three dots, you click on edit, right? So now 
it's coming from, it's going to be coming from that email. So this right here at the starting rule, let me show you this part real quick. This is where I'm telling the system what or who to send that email to, right? So it's based on the list. Those who opt in, what I did, what I did on the form is I, is I optimize the form to those who opt into that form, put them on this list, right? So now I'm telling the sequence, the starting rule. For those who are on that list, for those who subscribe to that list, send them these emails, right? So that's what I'm doing over here is a starting rule. So there's that first email that goes out immediately, right? So I come over here, hit edit, go into the email. So here is the actual communication. I just simply name whatever I'm going to subject line, the, the actual email um, coming from your business email recipients, those who are subscribed, and then the email content. So this is where I would come in and I can decorate that email, right? I can give them all the, so, so rather than posting all of the freaking details on that post and giving up all the information before they ever opted into anything, Make them opt in first. That's what we're doing here. As you see the freaking post, you're clicking and you're opting in first, right? You're opting in first. And then once you opt in, then I can send you all the details of that beautiful property, right? So I can I can play around with this. I can edit this email. Um, I can take away what I don't want. I can come over here to advanced on the top. So I shade, shade this blue to advance. I can come over here to design templates. I can look at full templates and I can see all these different templates that Karcher already has done for me. All I got to do is just click, drag it over and drop it. And I can work around that email. I can hover over it, hit the pencil, put my details, 6109, right? I can, I can play around with it. I can come over here. Um, I can add some images of the property. So I can, like, let me show you. I can come over here, hit the pink pencil, upload image, and then I can maybe put, you know, some different images of the property. So there's that image, come over here, and then I can even link it to something that I wanted to, if I want to link it. Look, here's what I'm going to do. I can, I, can, I can put an image, right? And then I can also link it. So what if I want to link it to the actual page? So all you freaking bozos are posting and when I click, I'm coming straight to this freaking highly detailed page, right? Again, in this case, I captured the lead first, and then I sent them the email, and then I can send them wherever the hell I want after I captured the email. So there is that link right there, right? So I can just simply link now everything after the fact, after I captured the lead. Right. So there's that. So, so this right here is, is, is just the time consuming part where you want to put together this email. Right. So there's the link. Right. So I can, I can, um, and then I could take away all this. I could take away all this. I could freaking play around with this. You guys, there's the text, there's the button. So I'm going to let her play around with this, but that's an example, you guys. I can I can hover over this image. Actually, that's a that's a video slot. Let me just take away this one. But I could put a damn video there, right? Um, so so I could play around with that part, but and then I could change the color, right? Click here for all the details. I can go click here for all the details, and then I link them to your freaking page with all the crap on it. Click here for all the details, right? And then I can hook up these social media icons and then I can even save the template if I wanted to. So email automation, you guys, email automation is so, so important. Now, again, here's what I would do also. This email is gonna go to everyone who opted in. This email would, go, would be the first one that goes out. But email number two, let me save as template. Email number two, what I would do is I would probably use the same template and then just change out the button. So rather than having the button click here for all the details, click here to schedule your private showing. And then what I would do is I would link it to my Karcher calendar, right? That's email number two and on, right? So email automation, you guys, if the appointment is not coming from the thank you page, 
I ran the ad or I posted on social media. They came here. They clicked the button. They opted in. They landed on the thank you page. If I'm not getting that appointment from the thank you page, right? Then I'm getting that appointment from my email automation. That's why the emails are so important. So what I would do is I would just freaking come over here, send email, click, drag it down, drag it down. And start that next email. So wait a number of days. This is email number two. So I'll send this one out in a, in, a, in a listing or an open house. I'll send that one out the next day. The next day, hit next. Leave all those days, days alone. The next day, this is next day, next day email. And you would name that next day email. And you would name that something, you know, for the next day. It's coming from that email, next, recipients. And I would, I would go recipients. And what I would do is I'd put a tag, recipients who haven't scheduled a call yet. And I don't think that I don't think that tag is there. Um, let's see if I have the tag here. I don't think I do. Let me see if I do. Okay, has not scheduled appointment. So if they have the tag has not scheduled appointment, then they would get this email. Okay. I don't know if you guys caught how powerful that is, man. Another reason why I use Kartra because I could tag them, right? Because if that person already scheduled an appointment on the first time around, they scheduled an appointment on the, on, on the thank you page. They don't need to get this next email regarding, or the second email, because they got the first one, but this is the second one. They don't need to get this second email regarding schedule your freaking private showing if they already did, right? So when that before that second email goes out, the system is going to check to see if they have that tag. If they don't have that tag, then they'll get that email. Okay. So in this case, has tag has not scheduled appointment. So that lead would get this next email. Okay. Single email next. And then all I got to do is come over here to advanced, come to design templates, go to my templates, click and drag, and I can just work off of that previous template. Right. So this right here, you guys, is pretty freaking gangster. 6109, Pinecrest, Pinecrest Lane. And then and then all this verbiage needs to be needs to be changed. Obviously, I can take away, you know, different parts of the page. Um, but you guys, you guys, hopefully, you guys, hopefully what I'm saying makes sense here, man. Um, this is how you capture leads on social media. This is second, second email, right? So that needs to be optimized. Um, updated for sure, edited, and then create. And then now here's the second email. So all I got to do is come down here, come down here, click on the three dots or hover over the three dots, activate. And then I want to drag this a little lower, right? Put it right, park it right below that one. And then hit the, hit the line, arrow it up, hit this arrange items at the top, and then boom, there goes my second email. And I can come over here to the top left, send email, click, drag it below the second email and create the third one, right? So if it's an open house, let's say this, it's, it's Monday, I'm running ads, boom, I'm getting people to opt in. And maybe I have five emails that go out every day or maybe every few hours leading up to that open house coming up next weekend, right? So you can get creative with this, you guys. But again, this is the back end. It's all about the back end. Um, you want to have your, your links set up through Facebook. These are custom audiences. Um, your pixel needs to be on the pages. This thank you page would be a custom conversion. It'd be a custom audience, but it would also be a custom conversion. Um, this button needs to be set up for the calendar, but it's all about the back end, you guys. It's all about having your, your T's crossed, your I's dotted, and, and making sure that, that, that you're building an email list. That's what I, 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 after speaking to thousands and thousands of business owners, thousands and thousands of real estate agents, that's where everybody, everybody drops the ball. No one's building an email list of their previous clients, customers, or just leads that are coming in. No one's building a successful email list. And that's what is one huge benefit of the Kartra system. So, um, so let's, let's refresh this real quick. Um, let's make sure that this is, give it a refresh real quick. There's her picture. There's the, um, there's, there's, the, there's the actual, there's the actual, now I'm supposed to get rid of these, these, um, 
um, little GDPR part, and I'm going to do that over here. So all I got to do is click on that, go to um, click on the profile picture in the top, go down to GDPR, and then deactivate GDPR. Save that. And then all I got to do is come over here. Let's refresh the page. And then that GDPR, GDPR thing should be gone. So as I click the blue, the, um, the button, there goes that. No, none of that stuff at the bottom, right? So that's how you do the damn thing, you guys. And I got to do some basic editing on the colors, but, but that's, that's how you do the thing, man. Two simple pages, you guys. A simple page, right? Simple, simple page, right? It's, there's nothing to it. Clean, simple, boom. They opt in, they land on the thank you page. In fact, let's really test it. Boom, let's, let's send me the details now. Look, look, let's do this from scratch. Let's do this from scratch just so you guys know I ain't freaking playing around. My pages will come to the opt-in page. Let's get the coder link. Now we customize that link. This is the new customized link. Let's copy that. And then also let's go a step further and make sure there's no leads on that list. So where is that list? That list is right here, right? So there's no leads on that list, zero. Let's opt in real quick. So we come here, click here for the details. Let's put in a bogus email, send me the details now. And I gotta clear up that button. Boom, land on the thank you page. Boom, there's the custom audience. Boom, there's the custom conversion. Boom, as I come over here to Kartra and I refresh this, there's number one, right? There is the active lead. That's the lead that just came in. There's David, they know it's a bogus email. That's why it's a hard bounce. But what I can also do is I can click on the name and I can see all the details of the lead. I can even come over here and, and I can see what list they're on, right? That's the list they're on. I can see um, what sequence they're in and what email went out. I can come over here to click on log and I can see it hard bounced, obviously. It hard bounced, but it would have told me that the email was sent, right? The first email. I can track all the analytics in real time of that lead, what page they're landing on, what email they're opening, which email they're not opening. I can track all that through log. And then again, through the profile, this is the only damn CRM I need. I could tag them from here. I could put notes on that lead. I could freaking change the time zone. I can update the information. This is all you guys need, man. You don't need any fancy, dancy, expensive ass CRM. This is all you need. So Click the link below, you guys. Hopefully that makes sense. There's two freaking pages, your landing page, your opt-in page. You can apply this to an open house, a listing, a seller guide, a buyer guide, whatever the hell you want. It's the, it's the landing page, the opt-in page, the thank you page, the form, and then, and then for sure your calendar. Um, the list, the email list, right? There's the, there's the list and then, and then the sequence right here at the top. So if you're a local business owner and you're just driving, driving clicks, you're running ads to your local area and capturing leads in your backyard, this could be powerful, man. This could be powerful. Appointments, leads, emails that are going out to these leads, all to people in your local backyard, rather than a bunch of random ass people all over social media who don't give a damn, right? Target your local area, build your brand and take them to a landing page and capture that lead. So hopefully you guys made, hopefully that made sense. You guys, I appreciate your time. If you're new, subscribe to the channel. My name is David, smash the bell for notifications and I'll see you guys on the next video. Click the link below, profitwithcarter.online. There's a 14 day trial and I'll see you guys in your inbox. See you soon.